This is Seth David for SchoolofBookkeeping.com, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about, can't I back up my data in QuickBooks Online? Can't I back up my data in QuickBooks Online? Or any cloud accounting software for that matter? The answer is no. And at first the response is, why would you need to? They do it for you. And these big companies like Intuit can afford to keep your data in multiple data centers, so it's in fact much more likely the data will get destroyed on your own computer than it is that it will get destroyed on theirs. Even if one of their servers gets destroyed somehow, they have multiple redundant backups, so you're really unlikely to lose your data. Could it happen? Sure. Uh, but it's very unlikely that they'll ever lose your data. There are, however, other reasons for wanting backups, some, not the least of which is just the peace of mind of knowing I've got a, another backup that I'm in control of, right? A lot of us like control. So, what to do? There's no, I, there's no easy way. I can, uh, with QuickBooks Online, there are certain functions that still require that you be using Internet Explorer, and I can. I can actually come over here to, you know, my company information, and under Tools, you'll see Export Data, and uh, it warns you right away that exporting data uh, to a desktop edition or creating a local copy important. You must use Internet Explorer to move your company data from QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks Desktop. So this export is meant for specifically that, to export from QBO to QB Desktop. So that's not what we're looking for. And there is, the, however, and of course you can run reports and save reports, but that doesn't really do me a lot of good because I'd have to run a whole lot of P&Ls and balance sheets. So there is one thing you can do, though, that I think is worth considering. And that is there's a specific report that you can download here. And it, doesn't get paid a whole lot of attention to especially by small business owners because it's in this weird area here in the desktop version of QuickBooks you'll find it under the accountants report so if you're not an accountant you don't want to go there right um, you should go there there's some good stuff in there if I go to general ledger that runs a general ledger report if I change this to run it for all dates and then I click run report what this will give me effectively is every single transaction in every single account that's in this QuickBooks Online company file. You won't be missing a thing. You will be missing um, perhaps the company information. Uh, you might be missing, uh, you'll be missing customer information, right? Because I don't have their addresses here. And you can't pull the addresses in because the addresses are sort of stored at the summary level for a customer. And since we're looking at a transaction detail report, the two can't be linked. What I could do is I could then run my list reports, right? I can run a separate, so I run the GL detail here and export this to Excel, and that's easy to do. Um, oops, I clicked on something I didn't mean to. So just click Excel on the report, and it's already downloaded the entire report to Excel. That's super fast, too. Um, one of the advantages of using QuickBooks Online is that it is lightning fast. So now what I do is, okay, now I basically need my lists, right? I need my customers and my vendors. So let's go back to reports. And when I go back to reports, keep in mind that I'm still in the uh, accountants reports section uh, where I access the general ledger. But actually, I don't even want to go back to reports at this point. I want my customers. I want my vendors. I might want my employees. So let's click on customers. And QuickBooks Online has a really cool option right here. So you hear, here's if you, I want to print the list, and here is if I want to export to Excel. This will export my customer list to Excel. Watch how cool this is. When I click on that, it immediately downloads in Chrome. Uh, you know, your downloads show up right down here. I can click on that, open it up, and it's got everything. It's got the customer. It's got the company name. It's got the address, phone, email, and it even has some of the information about their invoice balances and whatnot right now. So in a click, I've got my entire customer list. I'm not going to save that. Of course, vendors has the exact same thing. So I can click here and export my vendor list. Now, granted, if you have a much bigger list than what we've got in this sample QuickBooks data file, it might take a little longer. But all in all, it's still pretty lightning fast. So here's my vendor list. So that works. And again, I've got the vendor, you know, the contact name, the company address, phone, everything. Employees are going to be a little more challenging to export. There's no export option for the employees. And if I go to reports, the uh, employee base reports, if I start back at all reports, I can go to manage employees, but there's no, um, 
there's no sort of list report like there is in the desktop edition and uh, unlike the vendors and customers there's no export option uh, what I would do if anything is I would probably just use the print option and save it as a PDF and it would give me that information uh, so it's not ideal but at least I can get the information if I need it and it, depending on what applications you use you may even have something that could convert that PDF to Excel um, or you might have something installed in your browser that actually would take the printer report and directly go to Excel with it. One way or the other you can get it done but 90% of it more than 90% of it really can be accomplished by simply uh, running the general ledger detail report that I showed you and running it for all dates so you can drop that whole thing into Excel and then uh, exporting the lists and QuickBooks Online makes it really easy as I've just shown you to export your customer and vendor list at the very least so then again the only other thing you'll have to be concerned with is how to export the uh, your employee list that's the only thing that uh, looks like might present some amount of challenge so as always if you have any questions reach out to me Seth at schoolofbookkeeping.com and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web.